Uh, the mandatory evacuation is still in place for a stretch along Latuna Canyon Road. But first, what earlier rains did, you've got to take a look at this. The rains actually created a six foot deep trench just off of a private drive off of Latuna Canyon earlier today. Sandbags were everywhere. Homeowners hope to keep mud out. Evacuation shelters were set up at the Sun Valley and Silmar Recreation Center. The rain swept through this area and also managed to leave behind destruction in Studio City. The first limb to be sawed off was small. But that was only the start. It narrowly missed me, yeah. This man could have died. He moved his car just in time. I heard a loud crack, and I thought it actually hit my car. Because it looked like, from where I was sitting, that it hit my car. It was on my car. I was like, not my new car. Talk about good fortune. And then I got out, and I was like, oh, I was lucky. And the house across the street was not. They didn't even have to step outside, because if you... From the inside of my house, you can see the tree branches coming through the front door. This homeowner says his wife, two children, and their nanny were inside when they thought they experienced an earthquake. And the reason why I'm not crying and upset is because nobody was hurt. An eyewitness news viewer recorded this damage. The tree came crashing down on Bluebell Avenue between Woodbridge Street and Valley Spring Lane in Studio City. We have gone through this with other trees. This is the, well, the sixth one in our block. It has gone down. Air 7 HD was also over the area showing the tree clipped part of the house causing damage to the fence. If it would have touched someone, they would have died instantly. We are live where mandatory evacuations are still in place for about a two mile area eastbound from the 210 freeway along Latuna Canyon Road. Now that mandatory evacuation will be in place until further notice in Sunland.